Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss two-way tables using frequency and relative frequency. Now suppose Jenny conducts a survey in her class to know how many students have a computer or a video at home. Now there are four possibilities of getting the response then the first possibility is a student has both video and a computer second possibility is the student has a computer but not a video then third possibility is the student has a video but not a computer and the fourth possibility is the student neither has a video nor a computer. Now, if the total number of students surveyed are 40, then the information gathered by Jenny can be written in the form of a table. Now, to read the information easily, we construct a two-way table it means both rows and columns together are giving the information now here let us take computer response in row and video response in column now suppose she gets the following table now let us see the method of reading this table. Here the number of students for each response is written in the cells. Now in cell 1 the number is 22. Now here see the corresponding row and column. So Number of students having a computer and a video is 22. Now from this table we can find how many students have video and not a computer. For this first of all we will see the second row which represents the number of students who do not have a computer but here we have to find the number of students who have a video and not a computer for this we will check the column which represents the number of students who have a video so here this cell tells us about the number of students having video and not a computer. So the answer for this question is 8. This means there are 8 students who have video but not a computer. Similarly we can find other number of students. Now here you can see that 6 students have computer but they do not have a video and four students neither have video nor computer. Now here you should note one thing that these numbers are the frequencies of the collected data. Also here the sum of all the numbers should be equal to total number of students. Now let us see the sum of all these numbers which is equal to 22 plus 6 plus 8 plus 4 which is equal to 40 and we know that here the total number of students are 40. So sum of these frequencies is equal to total number of students. 
Now from this table we can also find the number of students who have computer irrespective of having a video or not. Now let us see this table again. Here if we add the frequencies given in the first row it is 22 plus 6 which is equal to 28 it means 28 students have computer. Similarly, adding the entries in second row, we get 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. So here, 12 students do not have computer. Similarly, if we add the frequencies in first column, then it will be 22 plus 8, which is 30. And if we add the frequencies in the second column, then it will be 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. It means 30 students have video and 10 students do not have video. Now here you can see that 28 plus 12 is 40 and 30 plus 10 is again 40. So here you can see that total number of students are 40 and out of these 40 students, 28 students have computer, 12 students do not have computer and out of these 40 students, 30 students have video and 10 students do not have a video. Now let us see relative frequencies or percentages using two-way table. Now suppose we have to find what percent of students have computer and a video. Now from the table we know that 22 students out of 40 have computer and a video. So relative frequency is equal to number of students having a computer and a video which is 22 upon total number of students which is 40 and this is equal to 0 0.55 or you can write it as 55%. Now let us see where and column related frequency or percentage. Now suppose we have to find what percent of students having computer do not have a video. Now this statement is not same as percent of students having computer and not video. Here, first of all we have to find the number of students who do not have a video out of those students who have computer. Now here we know that the total number of students who have computer is 28. Now in the first row, see the number of students who do not have a video and they are 6. So the required percentage is 6 upon 28 into 100 which is equal to 21% approximately. So here 0 0.21 is row relative frequency. Now let us find what percent of students not having video have a computer. For this we see only those students who do not have a video and they are 10 in number. Now in this column, see the number of students having computer and they are 6. So the required percentage is equal to 6 upon 10 into 100 and this is equal to 60%. 
So, here the column relative frequency is 0 0.6. And if we find the relative frequency or percentage of each cell, then we get this relative frequency table. Now we can find the relationship between two variables whenever we are given categorical data. Now by categorical data, we mean the variables can be divided into categories like color of balls, red, green, blue. Now we can find the relationship by making the percentage or relative frequency table. For example, let us study this two-way table. Now here, for each age group, what percent of students in the survey ride the bus to the school and what percent of students do not ride the bus to the school? Organize the results in a two-way table. Does it show any relationship between the age group and the students riding bus or not? Explain. Now let us start with solution. Now here we are given the age group and we have to find percentage of students riding or not riding. It means here we have to find the common relative frequency and hence percentage for each cell. Now we have age group in columns and ride by bus or not in rows. Now number of students riding bus in the age group of 12 to 13 is 24. Now in cell 1 the frequency is 24 and the total number of students in this age group are 40. So the required percentage will be equal to 24 upon 40 into 100 which is equal to 60%. Similarly, 16 upon 40 into 100 is equal to 40%. So the percentage of students riding bus in the age group of 12 to 13 is 60% and the percentage of not riding the bus in the age group of 12 to 13 is 40%. Now in the second column, the total number of students are 25 in the age group of 14 to 15. So percentage for this column is 12 upon 25 into 100 which is equal to 48%. And 13 upon 25 into 100, which is equal to 52%. Similarly, we can find the percentage for the third column. So we have the following table. Now here you can see that as the age group increases, the number of students traveling by bus decreases. 
Now here, see the percentage that is 60, 48 and 40%. They are decreasing for each age group. So the number of students not riding the bus increases with increase in age group. So as the age group increases, students are less likely to ride by bus. So in this session we have learnt about two-way tables. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.